local news that matters. This is CBS 17 News. And we begin tonight with a breaking news update from Wednesday as police have now identified the woman killed in Wake Forest. Good evening, everybody. I'm Rod Carter. And I'm Angela Taylor. Thanks so much for being here. The suspect in the case is accused of shooting her and then driving her body to a nearby police station. Terrence Hartsfield is charged with murder. He made his first appearance in front of a judge today. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue was at the courthouse and spoke with the victim's families. Lillian. Well, Wake Forest police identified Jacqueline Beck Beckwith as the woman found dead in a car outside the Youngsville Police Department. Her loved ones described shock and anger over her killing. We loved her. Maurice Beckwith said the death of his aunt, 54-year-old Jacqueline Beckwith, has devastated his family. I'm just asking y'all to pray for the family. Please pray. We're going through something we've never been through before. Police say Beckwith was in a relationship with Terrence Javon Hartsfield, who's been charged with her murder. Wake Forest police responded to a reported shooting at a gas station on North White Street just after noon on Wednesday, but didn't find a victim. Hartsfield is accused of shooting Beckwith and then driving her body to the Youngsville Police Department. It has been a real shock. It feels numb. And I can't believe she's gone. Bex with family says the relationship between the two has been a rocky one. It seems like he don't have no use for human life. But we know what's going on, so we just gonna let we gonna let God handle it. That's all. Hartsfield is being held without bond and is also charged with felony possession of a firearm. If convicted of murder, he could face life without parole or death. His next court date is later this month. Back to you. All right, Lillian, thank you.